Step-in motor driver IC using PWM chopper type TB62209FG by Toshiba. Welcome to the training module on the TB62209FG. This module introduces the features of the step-in motor driver IC using PWM chopper type and its operations. The TB62209FG is a step-in motor driver driven by chopper microstep pseudo sine wave. It integrates a decoder for clock input and microsteps as a system to facilitate driving a two-phase step-in motor using microstep pseudo sine waves. Microstep pseudo sine waves are optimal for driving step-in motors and with low torque ripples and at low oscillation. It can easily drive step-in motors with low torque ripples and high efficiencies. This circuit is used to input from the data pin a microstep current setting data and to transfer them to the subsequent stage. By switching the setup pin, the data in the mixed decay timing table can be overwritten. When the VM value is between 3.3 to 5.5 volts, the internal reset is released, thus an output may be on. In such a case, the charge pump cannot drive stably because of insufficient voltage. The standby state should be maintained until VM reaches 13 volts or more. At constant current control in current amplitude or pulsating current decay mode, a point from 0 to 3 can be set using a 2-bit parallel data. NF is the point where the output current reaches the set current value. RNF is the timing for monitoring the set current. The smaller the MDT value, the smaller the current ripple. The diode on the dotted line is a parasitic diode. C or D unit is the same as A or B unit. Torque X changes the current peak value in four steps. Used to change the value of the current, the IC supports mixed decay mode for switching the attenuation ratio at chopping. The switching time for the attenuation ratio can be switched in four stages according to the load. The current setting circuit is used to set the reference voltage of the output current using the current setting decoder. The current feedback circuit is used to output to the output control circuit the relation between the set current value and the output current. This is done by comparing the reference voltage output to the current setting circuit with the potential difference generated when current flows through the current sense resistor connected between RS and VM. The chopping waveform generator circuit to which CR is connected is used to generate a clock which is used as reference for the chopping frequency. This slide shows the excitation modes. There are eight excitation modes defined by low power dissipation mode, motor lock mode, two-phase excitation mode, one to two-phase excitation low torque, one to two-phase excitation high torque, W one to two-phase excitation or two-bit microstep change, two W one to two-phase excitation or three-bit microstep change, and 4W1 to 2 phase excitation or 4 bit microstep change. This slide shows the current discharge path when enable input during operation. The output transistor has parasitic diodes. To discharge energy from the coil, each transistor is switched on, allowing current to flow in the reverse direction to that in normal operation. As a result, the parasitic diodes are not used. If all the output transistors are forced to switch off, the energy of the coil is discharged via the parasitic diodes. When current flows in the direction of the arrows as shown in charge mode, U1 and L2 are on and U2 and L1 are off. In slow mode, L1 and L2 are on and the rest are all in off condition. In fast mode, U2 and L1 are on and the rest are all in off condition.
when the current flows in the opposite direction of the arrows then in slow mode it is the same as earlier and in charge mode U1 and L2 are off and U2 and L1 are on. In fast mode U2 and L1 are off and the rest are in off condition. If the VDD drops to the level of the VDDR or below while the specified voltage is inputted to the VM pin, the IC is internally reset. This is a protective measure against malfunctioning. Likewise, if the VM drops to the level of the VMR or below while the regulation voltage is inputted to the VDD, the IC is internally reset as a protective measure against malfunctioning. To avoid malfunctioning, when turning on VM or VDD, inputting the standby signal at the timing shown is recommended. It takes time for the output control charge pump circuit to stabilize. Wait up to T on time or charge pump rise time after power on before driving the motors. Sub-key design parameters to consider are how to calculate set current and calculate the chopping and oscillating frequencies are shown. When reset is released, TR1 is turned on and TR2 is turned off. CCP1 is charged from CCP2 via DI1. When TR1 is turned off and TR2 is turned on, and CCP1 is charged from CCP2 via DI2. When the voltage difference between VM and VH or CCPA pin voltage equals charge pump voltage reaches VDD or higher, operation halts. CCP1 charge is used at chop frequency or F chop switching and the VH potential drops. Choose CCP1 and CCP2 to be combined. It is recommended that the ratio between CCP1 and CCP2 is 10 to 1 or more. Two-phase excitation has large load change due to motor-induced electromotive force. If a mode in which the current attenuation capability is small, current increase due to induced electromotive force may not be suppressed. In such a case, use a mode in which the mixed decay ratio is large. Keep phase B on and phase A off if you want to hold the rotor at an, any desired value. The values for the devices are all recommended values. Make sure that ground wiring has only one contact point and to design the pattern that allows the heat radiation. To control setting pins in each mode by SW, make sure to pull them up or down to avoid high impedance. This slide shows the application circuit used as microstepper driver. It is an alternative system configuration with locally hardwired features and simple remote control via a clock. This is the application circuit for microstepper motor controller. This system diagram is for fully featured control which is driven from MCU.